Hi, I'm Louise and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a sweet star amaryllis out of crap paper. First, let's start working on the stamens. You'll want to cut this piece of uh, paper in um, six equal pieces or at least as equal as possible. If you enjoy this kind of videos, I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my next crafts. I have an entire playlist dedicated to crab paper flowers, so you can make a bouquet perfect for any occasion using amaryllis or other flowers you might uh, like. Before going to the next step, you'll want to twist each and every one of these uh, small pieces as this will make them uh, look a bit more realistic and rounded. And since in nature the stamens aren't just one color, I've decided to also color them with some oil pastels in red. If you don't have oil pastels, you can use uh, even Crayola, I think, because um, all you need actually is just a bit of color to make them not look so uh, uniform. Before using oil pastels, I even uh, used uh, watercolors and uh, they worked perfectly. I forgot to mention, but make sure you don't color all the way through. You want to leave about a centimeter on the top, uh, uncolored. And now for the part that uh, looks tricky but it's not really, is uh, when we give the stems that um, specific shape, um, I don't know what to call it. I would say a T-shape, I don't know the actual term for it, but uh, if you do, leave it in the comments. start working on the petals. For each flower we are going to use 6 petals, so uh, 18 uh, pieces in total. This flower is a pretty simple one, as in uh, all of the petals have the same uh, shape. And again I'm using the exact uh, same uh, color as I did for the stamens. Once all the six petals are uh, glued in place on their uh, floral wire, it's time to start assembling our uh, amaryllis. Since we have six petals, we're going to have uh, two layers, each uh, made out of three petals. And for the second layer, 
we're going to glue the petals in between uh, two of the petals from the first layer. Once the glue is uh, cooled off, you can start uh, working uh, the petals. In order to get the amaryllis have uh, that nice uh, shape of uh, a flowery bloom. And this is how the flowers should look uh, at the end. Or better said, the first one, as you still need to do another two. Once you finish all three flowers and um, add them to the stem of the amaryllis, you can start working on the leaves. All, uh, all three leaves are going to look the same. They're going to be very pointy. And... Uh, I'm not sure if this is scientifically correct, but uh, I thought that uh, three leaves would be the perfect uh, number of leaves. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and maybe even leave a comment. See you on the next one, bye!